Okay, so the SteelSeries Stratus is the first iOS 7 um, specific uh, gaming controller. Um, it's MFI certified from Apple, which means it'll work on all controller enabled games on iOS 7 devices. So when I say iOS 7, I mean anything with a lightning connector, so anything new. Um, if you have an iPhone iPhone 4S, um, it, it won't work. So it's anything above um, a 5, 5C, 5S, um, the iPad Mini 2, um, iPad Air with Retina display. Um, so all of the new stuff essentially. Um, Apple uh, released in June that they were going to open up their uh, certification and we are the first ones to do the standalone version of their uh, controllers. They have two options. One of them is the uh, SnapFit controller that is compatible with um, iPhone and iPod Touch. Um, those have come out with um, our friends at Logitech and MoGA. Um, how this one's a little bit different is that obviously you don't snap it into anything. Um, Bluetooth wireless, so you connect through Bluetooth um, on the devices and it'll give you about um, just about 15 hours of runtime on this battery. Um, I think if you play consecutively, you'll get about 10 hours of battery life. Um, and, you know, the charge time is approximately two hours from like dead to full charge. Um, and it looks like a, you know, a very compact but traditional layout of a controller. Um, you have the D-pad, the controller action buttons, the two dual analogs, um, the obvious pause button, but that also doubles as the pairing button. Um, then you have the four uh, shoulder buttons as well. Nice. Okay. Um, what's also different about this is that there is, it also comes with a plastic cover case. Um, so when you throw this into your bag or your pocket, you're not smashing, ruining the buttons. Um, it doubles also as a grip extender. So because this is such a small device, um, for people that have larger hands or even folks that prefer to have just an extra grip, um, it, it gives you a little more depth to the controller. Um, the buttons themselves, so everything except for the joysticks, um, are pressure sensitive. So for some games, that's you know obviously really relevant. Um, there's a roster of games that are you know controller enabled. Um, some of them you know more relevant than others. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas is one of them where it's the perfect use case scenario. Yeah. Um, you know where having controller functionality is that makes the experience just that much better. Um, there are some smaller um, game publishers. The folks at uh, Mountain Sheep have Mini Gore 2, which is so much fun to play with. Um, Gameloft has a bunch of games as well, the folks that, that make Riptide. Um, so there's a lot of options, a lot of different types of genres. So it's um, it's a really fun addition to you know your portable gaming. Yeah, instead of using the touchscreen, make it exactly. that, that much nicer. Exactly. And that's sort of where our thought process is. Like, the idea is to not just come out with a piece of hardware. Um, we are a hardware manufacturer, but it's also about thinking how can we add something to the industry as a whole, or how can we at least add value to a particular um, you know type of type of hardware. And for us, if you look at um, iPads, in, you know, in particular as almost a new type of console. Um, if you can, you know, go to the game center and download a game, and oh my gosh, you have you know a console style game that you can typically play on Xbox or PlayStation on your iPad and now you have the controller to actually play that same way um, yeah. it almost becomes a new platform. Yep, mobile is becoming very big especially yeah. with uh, Nvidia's announcement of their 192 mm -hmm. core. Exactly, it, it, they look beautiful and the only thing missing piece was how do you play it as it was meant to be played. Mm -hmm. So I think this is yeah. an option. Perfect little gadget. Yeah exactly, um, it's about $99 um, uh, you can buy it now on SteelSeries.com um, on pre-order. Um, it'll be available um, on Apple.com and in Apple stores um, globally later this month. Cool. So that's the Stratus. Excellent. Could you give us a little gameplay demo? Sure. Let me, uh... What game are you playing? This is uh, this is Mini Gore 2 from Mountain Sheep. It's actually probably my most uh, like best stress reliever game because you literally it's a it's a button masher, but it's a lot of fun to play. Um, you collect coins, uh, you kill zombies. Um, this guy looks like a crazy giant evil chef with swords. Um, this is kind of my my new hidden favorite gem. <laughs> um, you know, obviously totally different than you know San Andreas. 
um, by GTA, but to be totally fair, I, uh, I'm horrible at it, so you don't want to see me play that game. It's almost very, it's like very embarrassing, so um, I usually pull in one of the other guys from the team to play those. Um, it's a lot more enjoyable to watch them play and not me just get beat up by, you know, a woman on the street corner. Yeah. Really quick, I see on the table there we got a, a white version. Yeah, so that was probably the other thing worth mentioning. They um, come in two options, black or white. Um, there will be um, potentially more colors later on, but I think black and white sort of hits you know both of those choices that Apple gives you, which is which is either black or white. Um, I don't know. I'm, I like both of them, to be totally fair. <laughs> Is there going to be any cost difference between the two? Nope, they're the same times? same amount. It's really just preference. Okay. Color preference. Excellent. So, um, so do you want me to go into sort of our next product, or do you have some more questions? Well, as far as, I mean, it, it's uh, an Apple only. Um, any... Android expansion? Um, no, so this is this the Stratus is um, for, you know only meant for iOS gaming. Um, we actually released um, a controller for Android devices called the Steel Series Free about a year and a half ago. Okay. Um, so we do have a controller for Android devices. Um, I think there are places that we can improve on that product. Um, they're uh, they're available now and they work great as a controller, but there are some features to this one that are a little bit different than that one. Um, the probably the most relevant are the shoulder buttons. There are two shoulder buttons on the free. There, well, there are four on this, which for some games it's you know imperative that you have four. Um, the size of this one is also slightly larger, about twenty percent larger. Um, in the future, um, you know, it's hard to say. I can't really like give too much away, but we, you know, we've obviously spoken to the Android market first, and then the Apple um, Apple world. So sure. we would never abandon one over the other. <laughs> sure. Yeah. So potentially. Potentially. Update. Okay. Yes. I think that wraps it up. Cool. Thank you very much. Thank you.